Hey everybody, Chris Moore here along with Bob Morrison, our superintendent, catching up on some things going on in the district right now. Of course, it's springtime. One of the big initiatives in the spring in any school district is preparing kids for the for the next school year, whether they're moving on into college or the next few uh, the next few grade levels. One of the new initiatives that we have going on in the district this year is a uh, partnership with the Khan Academy and College Board. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, uh, one of the things that I think uh, a lot of people don't realize right now is the opportunities for free tutoring. And so let's talk from just a day-to-day -day homework standpoint first. The Khan Academy, you can go there and you can look up biology, chemistry, algebra one, second grade math, third grade math, fifth grade math, everything that you can imagine, all the subjects. And as a parent, if you're sitting there at home and you don't understand a concept, that your, your child comes home and says, Mom, Dad, I'm confused. I don't understand how to multiply fractions. And it's been a while since you've ever multiplied fractions, it's been a few years. Well, then what you do is you go to the Khan Academy, look that up, and then you can watch a two, about a, it's usually about a four to five minute video from a professor, somebody teaching that, and they show you how to do that. And then the students get to practice that. So that can be used as a daily homework tool. Now what has happened, this started maybe six, seven years ago, I think, uh, the Khan Academy did. Well now the Khan Academy has partnered with the College Board. And the College Board is where you get your PSAT, your SAT, and your AP tests. So let's talk about PSAT first. Every one of our students this year took in 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th grade the PSAT. So they, the students have received those scores. What we have done is we have signed them up with a Khan Academy account. And so what Khan Academy does is they go into the College Board and they take those scores, that's what, how they scored on the test, all of the answers they got correct and the ones they didn't get correct, and they download them into the Khan Academy, and the Khan Academy then creates a tutoring program for the next year's PSAT. So this year's eighth graders, it, will, it individualized by student 17,000 different times in Garlings, where we'll have 17,000 students with their own individual learning plan for next year, they can take all of those things that they need to work on, the deficiencies, you'll know what they did well and what they didn't do well, and then the, the Khan Academy will create basically a study guide for the next year's test. Now Khan Academy also, in the next year or two, they'll be doing the same thing with AP testing, where you can take practice AP tests and it will be able to do the same kinds of things with. So we strongly encourage the parents to really kind of tune in on the Khan Academy. It's going to help them in so many different ways. It's going to help them from daily homework. It's going to help them for the PSAT. And, so, and if you're at home and your parents are saying, what's the PSAT? The PSAT is what's going to get you ready for potentially national merit semifinalist finalist. If you're a national merit finalist, you can go to college free. National Merit Semifinalist is going to get a lot of money, but a National Merit Finalist is going to go to college free, and that's the top 1% of 1% of all students in the United States. This year, Garland ISD had seven of those students. So we're encouraging our students to get on and take these practice tests as much as possible. This started in June of this year, and between June of this year and the first time that the SAT was offered in the, in the fall, 600,000 students in the United States were on the Khan Academy practicing the test. So the other students out there that you're competing with, you know, for that top 1%, they're out there on this site. You need to be on that site too. Now, one of the things the district's done in the last two to three, uh, actually two or three board meetings, maybe the last month and a half or so, we, uh, we took to, to the board and they approved. Uh, we are no longer requiring our parents to pay for the AP test or the IB test. So parents no longer have to pay for that. And we just want to take any barrier away that we can so this encourages as many students as possible to take these tests because if you pass the test, the AP test, you get college credit. If you score a three or a four or a five in any grade level, if it's a junior year or a senior year, does that carry over to college as it well? It does, and we actually, offer, we actually offer freshman level AP classes. So you can actually build AP credit your freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. And you can build that all the way up through. So a, a, a student that's really focused on AP will graduate a sophomore in college. They'll graduate high school and being a sophomore in college. And the push was to, like you said, remove all of those barriers. And an additional um, component you guys added to that, you're offering all that during the school day now, correct? Right. We offer all the PSAT, PSAT tests during the school day, but now, I think on March 2nd, we're offering the SAT to all of our 11th graders. And this is the new SAT. The SAT has been reformatted. So if you took the SAT back in um, October, November, 
that was a different test. This is the, this is the new rendition of the SAT. So it's going to be interesting to see how the students do on the new kind of SAT test. And now all of the study materials on the Khan Academy are linked to the, to the new test. So we're encouraging our students to, in preparation for that March 2nd test to get online to the Khan Academy and start practicing because it's a different test than it was four months ago. And you're reaching out to their parents as well. I know that you recently attended uh, a parent meeting at the Curtis Colwell Center, not only for parents, but also with teachers. You're, you're really spreading the message so everyone will get on the page and, and know where they can go and how they can access these. So there's a real, a real push to educate folks. Absolutely. We wanted, our, we wanted our teachers to realize what the opportunities were. Uh, the Khan Academy is never going to take the place of outstanding teaching. We have great teachers, and that's never going to take the place of. This is supplemental things that, uh, the, that the teachers, you know, can say, hey, students, if you're stuck on this concept, here's where you can go to get somebody else to explain it to you as well, Beside, you know, it, because a lot of times it's very clear when you're sitting in class, and then all of a sudden you go home, and it's like your mind goes completely blank, and you just, you just, need, you just need a fresh reminder, and the Khan Academy will provide that on a day-to-day -day tutoring. And it's all packaged for students, so it makes it simpler for them, like you said, because everyone has one of these now, and, and they can access all of that through their Facebook accounts, through a lot of different social media accounts, and they can take this with them and study wherever they are. They can, and next year we go to one-on-one -on -one devices and be iPaded at the high school. So every high school student's going to have an iPad next year. We'll have 100 hotspots throughout the community, so if the parents do not have a wireless at home, they can go do their homework at different places. Um, if, if that's necessary. We'll have libraries open at night for, parent, uh, for the parents to drive their students to to use the facility, uh, our school facilities there. So there'll be opportunities um, out there. And the nice thing is, is it's free. It's right there for you. All you have to do is use it. And so we're, we're trying to get the word out as best we can to encourage parents to start using this. And in, as parents go, you know, I'm in education. Been doing this for 26 years. I was a history teacher. I was pretty good in math, but it's been a while since I was in an Algebra 2 class. And although my daughter can come home and ask me a question about Algebra 2, I may or may not understand it completely. But I can go to the Khan Academy, I can, look at, I can go to the lesson that she just had in school, I'm going to watch the, teacher, the, the professor teach that four minute lesson, and then all of a sudden it's going to refresh my memory and then I can help her again. We are publicizing it in many ways. People driving up and down the street through the district. We've got the bus ads on the sides. And simply for someone to, to register and become a member of this, it's conacademy.org. That's it. Where did you get the idea for this initiative? Well, I have the privilege of serving on the National Superintendent's Advisory Board for the College Board. And in one of our briefings, in one of the meetings, uh, they laid out the Khan Academy. They laid out all of the initiatives that are out there that are free, all the resources that we could use. And I know that we have a wonderful program here and a lot of great people doing outstanding things in our advanced academics department. But I came back and I just asked a question, where are we on this? And we had some students doing it, but we hadn't done it district-wide. So we decided to do the Khan Academy uh, district-wide and enroll all of our students. And then in addition to that, you know, we, we, we still offer all the free AP test and the IB test. And one of the nice things about that is there's very few districts around us that do that. And so our goal is to make sure that all students can be successful and, get, and be college ready. And that's the goal. One more time, you said it was free, correct? It is free. Free? Absolutely. Okay, I just want to make sure it's free. Free is free. All right. Got it. Well, Dr. Morris, we appreciate you being here with us today. And uh, we'll catch up next month and see what else is going on in GISD. Sounds great. And thank you for joining us today as well on Superintendent Update. We'll see you next time.